distinguished guests, members of the faculty and staff, family and friends, and members of the class of 2023. Welcome to the undergraduate commencement ceremony for the Haas School of Business. I'm Ann Harrison, Dean of the Haas School. It is my great pleasure to officiate at today's ceremony. It makes me extremely happy to play this role in your triumphant day. I am glad for all of you, glad for your families, your partners, your friends who are sharing in your celebration. To our graduates, you have earned your Bachelor in Business Administration during a very unique moment in history. You consumed a staggering amount of coffee at Cafe Think, and you found the drive to keep learning during a global pandemic. It was likely not the college experience that you expected, but it's your college experience, and you will always be connected by it. Remember, as you go forward, your resiliency, your resourcefulness, your humor and your empathy. Hold on to these for all the great peaks and the low valleys that will be ahead. And because I know how amazing your class is, I know that there will be many peaks. You also stand out because you are a really diverse group in so many ways. 54% of you are women. Forty-seven percent of you earned a dual degree. Twenty percent of you are the very first in your families to attend college. Some of you came back to school, bringing valuable work and life experiences to your classroom and your cohorts. And many of you have made time to lend a hand to your classmates, to the school, and to the community around you. Look next to you. Look in front of you. And look behind you. You are surrounded by some of the smartest, the boldest, the coolest people you will meet anywhere in the world. So stay connected to each other. Help each other succeed. That power, the power to help each other, is among one of the greatest gifts of your degree. And when you can, Find the way, a way to give back. Make it possible for the next generation of talented business leaders to transform their lives with a Haas education. Now, before I introduce our commencement speaker, I would first like to offer special thanks to a group of people who have worked so hard and sacrificed so much to make today possible. I am talking about the parents, the family. And the friends of the graduates. You, family, friends, and partners, you are real important partners in the achievement that we celebrate today, and we thank you. Would the graduating students please join me in another round of applause to honor your extraordinarily family. And now we will hear from a Haas alum of uncommon distinction who will address the graduating class. In choosing the speaker, we look for a person who embodies excellence and a distinguished record of achievement and who personifies our defining leadership principles. Elena Gomez is all of those things. 
Elena is the Chief Financial Officer at Toast, the cloud-based end-to-end technology platform purpose-built for the entire restaurant community. As CFO, she oversees global finance, investor relations, and corporate development. Under Elena's leadership, Toast launched its initial public offering in 2021. Before joining Toast, Elena was the CFO of Zendesk, where she grew the market cap by over, get this, $15 billion. Over her 30-year career, Elena has held many leadership roles at Fortune 500 companies, including at Salesforce, at Visa, and at Charles Schwab. In 2017, Elena was named to the list of most influential women in business by the San Francisco Business Times, and she currently serves on the board of directors for both Smartsheet and PagerDuty. Elena is also an advocate for diversity, equity, and inclusion within the global business community. She is a Haas board member. She was just appointed actually the head, the chair of the Haas board. And she is the founding member of the Haas Center for Gender Equity and Leadership, also known as EGAL. She's also a board member of the Boys and Girls Club of San Francisco. So all of you, please join me in giving a warm welcome to Elena Gomez. Good afternoon and thank you. Thank you, Dean Harrison, for the opportunity to address this incredible audience. I would like to thank you, Dean, and the faculty and the staff here at Haas for my personal experience as a bearer, which helped launch my career and has ultimately landed me here today with you. I want to welcome all of you parents, I know it's hot, family and friends who have been so instrumental in helping to get your graduate to this point and are here to celebrate their incredible accomplishment together. Haas, graduating class of 2023, I'm honored to recognize and applaud your achievement. To me, it feels like it was only yesterday, and the last time I was at Greek was my graduation, that I was sitting in the chairs that you currently occupy, ready to go out into the world. Well, in reality, it was 30 years ago. And I honestly was a little bit unsure. I was wondering if I was ready and was filled with a lot of nervousness and excitement. Yes, I had a world-class education and experience, but I was wondering what my future would hold and how would the very real world of 30 years ago embrace a young Latina from Daly City, California. I don't know if I appreciated back then just how much being a graduate of Haas would shape my career and my life. My experience at Haas opened my mind and to what was possible, opened doors at employers, gave me the opportunity to lead. It pushed me beyond boundaries and at times made me a little bit uncomfortable. I'm thinking network events when I had to go up and shake someone's hand. How many of you have been to those? Um, but as I entered the corporate world, I may not have realized I was ready. Take a moment and soak this all in and know you are ready. Look back and reflect fondly on your journey, all your times on campus, as well as remote learning online. And then take another long moment and imagine what is to come. Do not be afraid to dream big. As you open up your imagination, the world is counting on you, and so am I. Uh, you've done the hard work, but I bet most of you didn't get here alone. Sincerely thank those who have supported and educated you along the way, because today you will leave here with a, plum, with a diploma from one of the top universities in the world, ready to take on anything presented to you. I don't know each of you personally, but I know you've all been battlefield tested. You have each individually and as a group had to navigate a pandemic. 
You were really pioneers in a new reality of remote learning, and you somehow succeeded. You're leading today with a different perspective than when you got here. You persevered, stayed the course, and are here today to accept your diploma. Congratulations. As you embark on this next leg of your journey, I have three brief messages for you. Anne mentioned, stay resilient. Two, know when to take the last shot and when to pass the ball. And three, give back and stay curious. On resilience, life is not a straight road. We all know that having experienced the last four years. Sometimes it's a curvy gravel path with mountainous terrain, and sometimes it's a super highway that you're almost flying along. We've all had those moments. And other times it's simply a traffic jam. There will be times when you won't get that job, when you don't land the presentation, and maybe sometime you may get your heart broken. In those times, how you re respond is what matters. How others see you react will define you and your reputation. My advice is to draw upon your character, who you know yourself to be, and take action that your rep reputation reflects who you are. Remind yourself, like I do, in those moments, what got you here? How you have already persevered and that no one curveball, no one person, and no one expected turn can set you back. The learnings from those experiences will make you stronger for the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Your perseverance, your grit, will define how others perceive you. Learn from those moments and apply them. Number two, learn when to take the last shot and when to pass the ball. Much of my leadership experience has been shaped in a boardroom and partnering with world-class leaders all around the world. And some of my observations on teamwork are actually in a, come from coaching 10-year-old basketball girls, which very much applies in the workplace. I recently coached a team, and one of, I had one of the best players on my team in the league. As a coach, I was excited, but the reality is it was a blessing and a curse. Not that different than the, the stars I have in the workplace. Part of me was excited about winning a lot of games, but jo what joy would that bring without getting the rest of the team involved? As a player or as a teammate in the workplace, and more importantly as a star, because I see a lot of stars out in the, in the audience, learn when your teammates need you to step up and take that last shot. As a leader, you will have the opportunity to help others, your team, your colleagues, imagine the impossible. As graduates from Haas, you are ready for all of that. You are ready to be a star, you're ready to pass the ball, and you're ready to help others see in themselves what they thought was not possible. Lean into those opportunities as they will have a lasting impact on your career. And of course, remember your teammates and your classmates. They will be your network. Cheer for your teammates. Build the teams that celebrate each other's success. How you treat others, how you play the game can have a lasting impact. Leave a legacy wherever you go. When a background search was being done for my first CFO role at Zendesk, my boss said, you know, it was very hard to back channel you. I later found out that a deciding factor in my selection was a letter written by a teammate of mine in my second job out of college. And that teammate wrote a letter with the title, A Tiger Doesn't Change Its Stripes. Your legacy, your impact starts now. Finally, beyond being resilient and bringing the best out in others, you have an incredible responsibility to give back. You've been granted the privilege of a Haas education, and I would go as far to say that privilege comes with great responsibility. As you rise through the ranks, Elevate those around you, especially those who aren't always visible. Seek them out, seek them out, help them make their next step, 
And if your experience is anything like mine, you might just end up learning more about yourself than you imagined. A few years ago, I had the honor of mentoring and learning from a young girl from Hunters Point in San Francisco. Giselle was 13, Hispanic from El Salvador and Mexico, just like me. I spent a semester with Giselle and rapidly realized this visit was much more than a little project we had planned to do. It was about taking the time to open someone's horizon to something that she could not imagine. There was an opportunity to open her eyes to her potential. She could become something she did not even know existed. Honestly, I struggled whether I would have time for Giselle as a public company CFO. It would have been an easy, it would have been easy to pass actually, but I'm so grateful I did not. You all will find yourselves very busy building your career, building your families, and landing really important jobs. Don't miss out on those opportunities to get back and learn from others. As you grow and rise in your career, pay it forward and bring people along. Not only is this a gift, but an opportunity to keep learning, to continue to be a student. In closing, as you leave here today, you will complete your learning in the classroom at Haas. But you, like me, will continue to be students forever, learning from others and gathering different perspectives along your journey. Continue to stay curious, continue to stay resilient, find ways to win as a team and give back. And remember, in the same way that your parents and friends will be lifelong supporters, your connection to Haas does not end today. You're an alumni of Haas and you will forever be part of this community. Go Bears. Thank you, Elena, so much for, for those wonderful insights. Um, I, I think we should also highlight that Elena's family is here, her two daughters, her husband, her brother, stand up! Her mother. It takes a village, um, and, and we really appreciate you sharing the, your experiences with this graduating class. Elena, you are the quintessential Berkeley leader, and I'm so excited that you will be the next chair of the Haas board. So each year, the undergraduate program grants the departmental citation to the student with the most outstanding academic achievement in the field of business. That student, let me put it in more explicit terms, had the highest GPA of any student graduating from Haas. Actually, I was just speaking with him, he had a perfect 4.0. This year's departmental citation goes to Noah Oppenheimer. Growing up in Sacramento, California, Noah always dreamed of attending Berkeley and he strove to make the most of the opportunity both inside and outside the classroom. He was a member of several student organizations, including the Berkeley Finance Club where he served as president. He also taught a student-led course on the power of networking. After graduation, Noah will work as an investment banking analyst at Lion Tree. Noah, I'm happy to give you your award. So 
I now have the pleasure to announce a set of awards at the heart of the Berkeley Haas mission. The winners were selected by fellow classmates, staff, and faculty. Through their work and actions, these students have exemplified our defining leadership principles. The first one, the first principle is question the status quo. Berkeley is known for questioning the status quo. We champion bold ideas, we take intelligent risks, we accept sensible failure, and we move on. You heard from Elena Gomez about how important it is to learn from failure, to question the status quo and go forward. That is one of the hallmarks of Berkeley. The Question the Status Quo Award goes to Vadika Dayal. Vadika joined Haas as a first year student in the Global Management Program. And she is the author of her own book, Think Outside the Odds. She is a leader of Build the Future, one of the student-run Haas decal courses and a hub for student founders. After graduation, she will be working as a product manager and continuing her advocacy for underdogs in the startup world. Let's give her a round of applause. The next award is our second defining leadership principle, confidence without attitude. That is how recruiters often describe Haas students. I think it's because our students have the academic grounding and sound judgment to make decisions based on evidence and, and analysis. They have the confidence to lead through trust and collaboration, but not attitude. The award for confidence without attitude goes to Carissa Pham. <laughs> Carissa Pham is a proud transfer student from Kasumnas. from Kasumnas River College. While at Berkeley, she has found joy in playing for the Cal Club volleyball team, taking leadership roles in global research and consulting, and starting a podcast called Conversations with Carissa to bring the wisdom of her guests to the world. Her nominators praise Carissa's ability to humbly pursue both her passions and her professional ventures. I know that everyone here today will appreciate the next guiding principle, which we call Students Always. Our community is designed for curiosity and lifelong pursuit of personal and intellectual growth. Our Students Always Award goes to Jordan Laredo. Jordan is a business administration and legal studies double major who has spent the last three years teaching a class on happiness to Berkeley students. She also recently helped launch a kindness club on campus in partnership with the Chris Kindness Award, a nonprofit started by our very own Professor Alan Ross. Alan, stand up. and named after a beloved Berkeley preschool teacher. After graduation, Jordan plans to work in the music business in order to empower independent artists 
and spread joy through music. Our final defining principle is beyond yourself. We shape our world by leading ethically and respons responsibly. For the Beyond Yourself Award, classmates and faculty have selected Vala Makfi. <laughs> Vala is an Iranian transfer student from Ur from Irvine Valley College with, with a strong passion for helping others and standing up to injustice. He credits his parents for instilling these values in him. While at Cal, Vala co-founded the Financial Education Association of Berkeley, which has educated more than 100 students on personal finance. He has also provided tutoring services to his peers and served in the HBSA. Vala will begin his career in management consulting at Alvarez and Marsal, while keeping an eye on his long-term plan of pursuing a law degree which he believes will provide him with the necessary tools to best serve social justice. Vala was nominated because he exemplifies what it means to lead a life of service. We will now hear from Arman Ismail, the Haas business student. The Haas Business Student Association president for the 2022-2023 school year. Arman is a double major in business administration and political economy with minors in computer science and global poverty and practice. Over the past year, he's held the position of president of the HBSA. He also served as vice president of philanthropy during his junior year. Armand has been deeply involved in the business community at Cal, holding leadership positions in a number of organizations. He was president of 180 Degrees Consulting, a social impact consulting organization, Vice President of Risk Management for the Interfraternity Council and Vice President External for his fraternity, Pi Kappa Tau. As he embarks on his career as a consultant, Armand eagerly anticipates joining fellow Haas graduates in New York and working towards a long-term goal of nonprofit administration. Please join me in welcoming Armand Ismail to the podium. How are we doing today? Haas, a four-letter word, a last name, even a brand of avocados, and something that has transformed my life and many of my fellow peers' lives forever. Exactly four years ago today, I sat at my desk nervously submitting my housing preferences for UC Berkeley. I didn't know whether Unit 2 or Clark Kerr would be better but I did know one thing. I wanted to be a part of Haas. Fast forward two years to February 12th, 2021 at 3.58 p.m. <laughs> I found myself in my apartment with six friends on Zoom, all of us anxiously counting down the seconds until our fates were revealed. As the clock struck 4 p.m., the confetti on the screen announced, congratulations to your, on your acceptance to the Haas School of Business. All six of us had made it, and immediately, an overwhelming euphoria rushed through me. 
After two years of hard work and dedication, I had achieved my goal. But what was the significance of this four-letter word? Why did I want to get in so badly? And would it all be worth it, especially in the midst of the pandemic? Now, as I stand before you, adorned in caps and gowns, and reflecting on the friends we've made, the concepts we've learned, the countless Cafe Think orders we've placed, let me tell you, it was worth it. When looking back at the memories from the past four years, I think about answering the teach me something in two minutes question in my consulting club interview by forcing my interviewers to learn a 45 second Bollywood dance song. I remember the grueling yet exhilarating Sunday mornings devoting eight hours to international case competition training with the Berkeley Haas case team. I think about the countless late nights coming back from rallies after Taco Tuesdays <laughs> and, <laughs> and walking into Professor Edder's 8 a.m. four hours later with a, how would one say it, a headache. I remember the strategic battles for the elusive EMS bookings vying for that last two study room during finals week. I think about jumping from trying to convince people to purchase bidets in Professor Carney's class to fighting, my nonprofit for, uh, to fighting for my nonprofit to win a $10,000 grant in strategic philanthropy. It's these moments that make Haas so special. Haas has also taught us the value of hard work and determination. We had to question the status quo, embrace being a student always, and surpass our own expectations in order to succeed. We needed to shed our egos, yet believe in ourselves so that we could exude confidence without attitude. We had to persevere. As the president of HBSA, the Haas Business School Association, I had the privilege of collaborating with various stakeholders by setting up weekly meetings with Assistant Dean Emma Daftry regular communication with Karen Lynn from our Career Center, consistent touch bases with Molly Shepard from the Development and Alumni Relations team, and of course, the daily conversations with Dinko Lakic, who always, who always prioritized the needs of students for the past 20 plus years. I wanted to say a special thank you to each and every one of you on behalf of all the students here for your time and effort in making this place something so very special for each and every one of us. I also wanted to thank a group of people that have been instrumental to our success as graduates and our lives over the past 21 or 22 years, our parents and family members. Let's give a huge round of applause to our amazing parents. I think we all can agree that the past four years have been quite a roller coaster of emotions and learnings. I mean, what is college if not for helping us navigate all the ups and downs of life? One thing that was proven consistently with the class of 2023 was our need to always push the envelope and persevere regardless of pushback. Whether that be from other students, from administration, or from society, we wanted to make a difference and improve our surroundings. Graduates, as we embark on the next chapter of our lives, I'm confident that this perseverance will carry each of us to great heights. Together, we will continue to reach for the stars, defy the word no, and seek ways to improve the world around us. We will proudly represent Haas for years to come. Even though our time running around the courtyard may be coming to an end, the friendships and memories will last a lifetime. And yes, I know, that was very cheesy. But seriously, we are all bonded by our shared experiences over the past four years, forever. We will continue to foster our relationships, continue to break barriers, and push for what's right, not just for us, but the world around us. Parents and family members, let's remember to clap for our graduates, but I also challenge you to clap for five graduates you may not know. Who knows, they may be the next financial advisor, consultant, or real estate broker. Graduates, pay attention so you know who to give the friends and family discount to in the future. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for making the past four years something to remember. I'm so grateful to have met each and every one of you. 
and I cannot wait to see what's in store for the class of 2023. Go Bears! Thank you, Armand, that was wonderful. We will now hear from our student speaker, Nina Dickens. <laughs> Nina is an international student graduating with degrees in both business and statistics. During her time at Cal, she served as HBSA's co-director of professional development, and she worked tirelessly in her consulting club, Voyager Consulting. <laughs> She represented Berkeley Haas in Norway on the Berkeley Haas case team and co-facilitated a Haas student-led decal course. Upon graduation, Nina will be going to PricewaterhouseCoopers where she will work as a strategy consultant. Please help me welcome Nina Dickens. When I was in eighth grade, I wrote a letter to my future self, meant to be opened on the day I graduated from high school. But let me tell you, the letter was truly humbling. From my embarrassing desire to sit at the cool kids table, to the disappointment my past self must feel when I in fact did not find my dream boyfriend or get onto the prestigious swim team, the letter offered glimpses into the thoughts and emotions of the person I was a socially awkward 13-year-old who thought she was writing the spiciest memoir. However, what really caught my attention was the last paragraph of that letter. Written in all caps were the words, never forget. What followed was a list of friends, inside jokes, emails, and memories my eighth grade self felt had captured the little moments, and at times, truly little moments, that made up the big memories of middle school. As I'm graduating with you all today, I feel it's time to reflect on these past few years and capture the little moments as I write my next letter. So, never forget. Never forget the confetti on your screen as you were welcomed into Haas, and never forget the stress of shortly thereafter trying to get into UGBA 100 in your junior fall. Never forget how proudly you wore your Haas backpack, and never forget how you began to leave it at home because confidence without attitude. <laughs> never forget how you used to come to class early to save a seat and never forget how you started to sneak your way into the back to avoid being cold called by Professor Ross in UGBA 107. <laughs> never forget the countless hours you put into that first assignment and never forget how you questioned the status quo by starting your homework 30 minutes before it was due. Never forget the time you dropped whatever you were doing during midterm season to see the Haas floods and never forget the way you frantically calculated the maximum number of questions you could get wrong and still pass UGBA 103. <laughs> never forget the faculty's unrelenting commitment to shaping us into passionate and ethical leaders and never forget the last time you were a student always, signing in your friend who couldn't make it to discussion. <laughs> Never forget the kindness and support of your family and friends who pushed you to go beyond yourself. And never forget today, as you graduate in front of them from one of the top undergraduate business programs in the world. <laughs> Lists of memories are great, nostalgic, and have brought me so much happiness over the past few years. But as I write this next letter, I can't help but feel a bit bittersweet. One of my close friends called this grown-up pain, and it resonated with me. It's the idea that we look back on our past with a sense of fondness and longing, cherishing the memories of the little memories of simpler times. But as we move forward, we can't help but feel a twinge of sadness knowing that the little moments are in the past. It's a reminder that with growth comes loss and uncertainty, but also excitement and new beginnings. And as things aren't going to be quite as linear as when I was in eighth grade, I mean, there is no 20th grade and there is no clear-cut path set out for us, 
I want to start a new section in my letters. Remember to. Remember to. Adjust your Google Calendar accordingly as Berkeley time will no longer be a valid excuse for being late. Remember to. Consider the positive impact your donation could have during Big Give as you finally answer the hundredth call from the alumni office. Remember to. Check in with your friends in investment banking and finance to make sure they're getting some sleep. Remember to. Celebrate your fellow Hossie's achievements by endorsing their problem-solving skills or Microsoft proficiency on LinkedIn. Remember to. Pay it forward and be the mentor that alumni were to you. Remember to. Wear the Berkeley Haas name with pride as you navigate life after college. And remember to. Embody the Haas pillars as you take on leadership in some of the largest organizations in the world. Behind every one of the little memories was a big moment that shaped us to be the graduating class I see before me today. And now, while I've tried my best to capture shared experiences in this letter, the reality is that my list of things to never forget and remember too are likely different from yours. However, in spite of these differences and how these past few years have put us on different paths, we have and will forever share this one commonality. We are Hossies. <laughs> and as over the past few years, casual conversations turned into heartfelt connections, as strangers turned into dear friends, as small ideas turned into big innovations, as quiet dreams turned into loud successes, and as little moments turned into big memories, I want to leave you with one last thing. Remember to never forget. Thank you so much, and congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you so much, Nina. I will never forget your speech. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, my 13-year-old self would never have thought of putting down all the things never to forget. I'm hugely impressed. Um, so, we have outstanding scholars and educators at the Haas School, and we are proud to honor these professors for their exemplary work in the classroom. We give out the Chait Award every year for excellence in teaching for our undergraduate program. It is chite. <laughs> wow. Somebody had a really great undergraduate experience and didn't go to a lot of classes. <laughs> okay, the chite award for excellence in teaching goes to Haas Lecture and double bear, Steve Etter. <laughs> this will be Steve's second faculty chite award. St Steve teaches corporate finance and financial analysis in the undergraduate program, as well as coaches our external case competition teams. <laughs> Students over the years have praised Steve for many facets of his mentorship. One student athlete said it well. I went to a predominantly white high school as a black and quarter Asian girl. Steve was a huge help to me in getting me to open up about my background and mentoring me through the entire process. Another student said simply of his class, it was the best course I have taken in my entire years of study. I have never learned so much before. One thing I can tell you about Steve, which still blows my mind, is that Steve has been teaching consecutively for 57 straight semesters and has never taken a break.
Congratulations, Steve. Each year, we also recognize the outstanding students of our graduate student instructors known as GSIs. Our 2023 winner is Khalil Samani. Khalil, would you come up? <laughs> Khalil was a GSI for leadership and personal development with professional faculty member Court Worthington. Here is how one student described Khalil's teaching style. He taught us so much and went out of his way to make the class relatable. He even stays in contact now and helps us with stuff all the time. Khalil was extremely understanding and one of the best listeners who gave the best advice. Congratulations, Khalil. We will now recognize the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Here to assist me is the Assistant Dean of the Undergraduate Program, Emma Hayes Daftery. Also joining us on stage for the presentation of degrees are Haas faculty members, Aaron McDaniel, Janet Brady, and Ryan Sloan. Our Teacher of the Year, Steve Etter, will be handing out scrolls. So family and friends, we are as excited as you, but please try not to block the graduates as they come up to the stage to receive their scroll. So will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Business Administration all please rise. Elena Pueng. Jasmine Bay. Serena Subore. Shirley B. Shivana Anandad. Sean Lynn. Michelle Ahn. Awesome. 
Yash Ranch Anshi. Andrew Din. Leon Christian Alejandro the Third. Jackson Philip Smith. Lucinda Cheng. Arnav Patel. Neha Jacob. Melissa Alejandra Gonzalez. Carolina Solis. Alyssa Montes Presadio. Jacob Wu. Ayush Dave Arman Goyal Chilpa Suyanathin Sri Neha Cherivara La Rohan Patel Young Hu O Kedar Guyathri Ven Kantesh <laughs> Rebecca Starr Rebecca! Sophia Christensen <laughs> Brittany Zeng. Amisha Wadwa Mamoka Sasaki Jenny Han Dustin Nguyen Lauren Lee Michaela Wee Sophia Saar Cleo Smith Nico Barden
Daniel Zhu. Arnav Gupta. Advat Marate. Aksha Patel. Muskan Argaval. Lieta Liu. Margaret Cheng. Michael Kosasi. Madeline is where Anata. Kuang Dean An Lee. Juliet Clark. <laughs> Isa Gill. <laughs> Samantha Breitbach. <laughs> Brittany Ingle. <laughs> Haley Sorley <laughs> Zongre Terry Lynn <laughs> Yu Chi Yi Sing you Lucy Duong <laughs> Leonard Luong Casper Wu AJ Baluraman Ube Upadhyay Devon Shankar Calvin David Jason Tiao Queen Liu <laughs> Mahir Nair <laughs> Ryan Chen Angelica Pauline Chan. <laughs> Justin Im. <laughs> Two.
Train. Samarth Goel. Mason Seaton Freeney. Pedro Pachuca Rodriguez. Sebastian Garcia. Zachary Johnson. Maya Haylock. John Gonzalez. Jesus Gonzalez. Emmanuel Hernandez. Natash Baramba. Samantha Doe. Ligia Mami Koyan. Mania Kuzemi. Nor Gill. Benjamin Harless. Richard Herrera. Nathan Lyell. Oscar Loyola. Priscilla Rosas Ortega. Kiara Wong. <laughs> Jay Patel. <laughs> Jeffrey Zeng. Pranathi Santosh. <laughs> Ashley Santiago. 
Minji Kim. Sarvesh Ranjanikant. Samantha Staples. Arda Ulu. Joanne Wang. Eden Kimberly Chung. Perne Rajpal. Catherine Zhu. Armand Tuana. Anushka Shah. Bryce Connor Smith. Taylor Sydney Hunter. Sean To Be. Ava Payment. Ronan Lerner. Unmull Ball. Zed Juani. Jonathan Napolis. Amit Narang. Rebecca Hu. Vanita Vemula. Simran Mahotra. Erin Rovinsky. Alpin Yuxalolu. Edward Lu. Autumn Wong. Cameron Callentar. Adarsh Venkat. Rajit Agarwal. James Park. Austin Mangold. Elizabeth Kate Lester. Monique Bell Savner, <laughs> V. 
Varsha Nekanti. Leticia Yang. Abhinaya Shrikant. Tanvi Joshi. Brenda Whited. Rujula Molina. Karina Patel. Liam Altman Anthony. Autumn Bowie. Corinne Young Montero. Olivia Huang. Samuel Liu. Charlie Gooding. Jennifer Gleason. Audrey. David Fang, Lane Carlitz, Amanda Yang, Toshi J. Mohammed Ibrahim Essan. Guillermo Pagnano Gonzalez. Daphne Aydeno. Caitlin Turner. Michelle Badamsterin. June Choi. P. Seth Kyo. Richard Zuren. Marvel Gamuya. Aaron Sorjohadi. Katrina Bermanto. Michelle Cusmono. Emilio Lara. Oh, 
Devin Sharma. Angela Lay. Sarah Chung. Suraj Pukala. Logan Lee Chen Lu. Bella Chang. Trinity Huynh. Tauri. Daniel Hyunwoo Lee. <laughs> Catherine Stevenson. Morgan Jacobson. Gabriella Sendera. Jane Fang. Angela Young. Caitlin Pan. Lena She. Sebastian Ree. Brian Kim. Koi Fan. James Lee. Dawson Hill. Jack Ronan. Ashita Dada. Ishika Dingra. Maya Green. Ainsley Riddell. Jacques Loifer. Alexander Brundage. Max Schumacher. Tony Schiffmeyer. Sarah Ahazie. <laughs> Tanaya Kulipara. <laughs> Hannah Wynn. <laughs> Sarah. 
Sabrina Panjuani. <laughs> Jaspreet Cardacy. Uh, Andrea Eloise Salinas Luste. <laughs> Brittany Tran. <laughs> Mohammed Jaway. Tasnia Choudhury. Christina Taylor. Lucia Dardis. Jai Williams. <laughs> Martin Fudetan. <laughs> Angelina Jow. <laughs> Emily Tan. Emily Yang. Brandon Chang. Duncan Christopher Barcelona. Sunny Wu. Casey Lau. G.U. Jung. Sydney Stavros. Crystal Smith. Courtney Jane Sanchez. Krisha Chukani. Arushi Agarwal. Janvi Patel. Fatima Castro. Sydney Hamill. Brian William Hong. Trevor Robert Marshall. Christy Lynn. Alec Lopez.
James Newen. Noah Manzano. Tristan Flores. Isabella Maria Martirosian. Carolyn Ha. Amanda Wong. Zimra Rosby. Sarah Sharf. I'm, I apologize. Sharf Sada. Rachel John. Yeva Madvienko. Aryan Shaw. Yeah. Hudson Badarian. Yeah. Isaac Truong. Ariana Alvarez. Valeria Palma Cisneros. Tarek Glenn. Joel Brown. Olivia Day. Brooke Baker. Natalie Weiner. Natalie Houston. Mark Malley. Victor Tellez. Robert Mahano. Angel de Jesus Esteban Ramos. Blanca Castillo. <laughs> David Ruxell. Okay. Dallas Heron. Kelsey Whalen. Cassandra Vonnegut. Angela Francis Malone. Emma Caulfield. Hanan Doger. Yeah. 
Bilal Mirza. Sikander Barati. Nikhil Patel. Carlos Maldonado. Liam Zhu. Jeremy Patrick Smith. Michaela Leahy Probst. Lisa Gryshen. Joel Correa Reyes. Christian Gerardo Medina. Allison Chang. Dalen Pham. Megan Ao Young. Nathan He. Waylon Allen Zhang. Lauren Wenyan Lim. Gloria Chu. Annie Pan. Jojo Chin. Ben Bloomberg. Lily Ariana Nayab. Elizabeth Nahara Flores. Chayam Sethi. Samir Banerjee. Hi, Mom and Dad. Isaac Medina. Chloe Wrong Yu Guao. Show you Michelle Michelle Guo. Felicia Tan. Parobi Saha. Blaze Harrison. Woo! 
Andy Galileo De Lira. Andrew Zhang. Michael Shaw. Merrick Wang. Aline Kuamjong. Tarun Amarnath. Ryan May. Jasmine Zhang. Aishwayura Mahesh. Anna Sismaru. <laughs> Naveen Thurvasula. <laughs> Jerry Zhang. <laughs> Natalie Dang. Marie Nali Uma Shankar. Sri Nidhi Sunkar. Giselle Garcia. Sit Lolly Ambrosio. <laughs> Frederick Anane. <laughs> Saved Mohammed Noor. Philomena Bella Francina. Rita Mahmoud. Hamile Chima. Lena Lou! Carissa Pham! Jordan Laredo! Noah Oppenheimer! Dika Dayal, <laughs> Vala Makfi, <laughs> Nina Dickens, <laughs> Arman Ismail. Alexander Chen!
Gene G, Tony, you. Carter, Elliot Newman. Robert Peltikov. Christina Zhang. Mohit Gupta. Sunil Srini. Remy Jacobson! <laughs> Catherine Schwarm! Rose Cordova! Kemia Bashiri! Tara May Alizane! Alejandra Ruiz Hernandez! Millie Nakamura! Ashton Woodbury! Vivian Fang! Bradley Way! Amon Patel! Devong Patel! Lemissa Chaudhry! Heba Khan! Justin Cleaver! Omer Cohen! Robert, me too! Elias Nakari! Alexander Yagonian! Dijon Henderson Giro! <laughs> Leas Makudi! <laughs> Maximilian Diaco! <laughs> Matthew Wesley! Tina Lee! Alicia Wong! Christy Wong! Kamyar Salahi! Jet C2! Crystal Min Lu! Brittany Wang!
Candace Lee. Samia Marine. Sophia Catherine Kake. Rikako Ashley Kent. Karina Wu. Johan Dalla. Tiffany Fung. Ethan James Chin. Kenneth Wong. Josephine Tai. Priscilla Ji Young Kim. Ayushi Balin! Fan Catherine Tang! Hannah Theodore! Rithik Jane! To running. <laughs> Vendita Bertia. <laughs> Gia Jane. <laughs> I'm on Agrawa. Jung Lin Andrew Snyder Benjamin Yoranowski Lucas Allen Teddy Oddly! Wendy Yan! Perry Alexis Wang! Palav Kathurvedi! Trinicates! Moody Putra! <laughs> Kyle Chan! <laughs> Blanchard Kenfak! <laughs> Dominic Kuzno! Sina Sidian! Cassidy Martz! Michelle Ho! Rachel Gu! Ronan Bargava! Ashwin Bindra! A 
Indians, Nitin Kana. Remember me? Second time. So good. Tahakan. Shayna Akiba. Sunny Christophili. Salil Meta. Would the graduates please rise? These are our, our outstanding graduates of the class of 2023. Let's give them another hand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the President and the Chancellor, I grant you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. You may now move your tassels to the left. You're allowed to throw them up in the air if you want. <laughs> Please be seated. It is now official. All of you have commenced a lifelong relationship with the Haas School in Berkeley as alumni. Congratulations. Please join us now in a reception in the courtyard at the Haas School. As we bring this ceremony to a close, I ask the parents, family, and friends to please remain in place. We will give you a final round of applause to our graduates as the graduates recess out of the stadium to the tune of the Cal Fight song. Thank you all for being here. This commencement ceremony is now concluded. Woo!